Hey guys, in today's video we're going to go over four important things or tips and tricks that you should all be doing with Dropbox. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do in Dropbox is I like to first make sure that it's in my dock. As you can see right now at the bottom here of my screen, it's not in the dock. So all you want to do is come over to Dropbox once it's installed and just click on add to dock. And then now you can see Dropbox is at the bottom right. So now it's always handy and always there. So you no longer have to open up Finder, go to Dropbox, etc., etc. So the next thing that we want to do here is come over to your Dropbox folder, or let's say, let's just start this from scratch. So the next thing you want to do is come over to your Dropbox folder, or you want to actually get onto the online version of Dropbox. So when it's up here, come over here, just left click on it, and then click on this icon here, little world map internet icon. Now after you've done this, one thing I'd recommend, or I'd, I'd actually look at this maybe once every three months, just so, uh, just for security purposes, what I do here is come over to here, and when you see your name, come over to settings. And underneath these settings, one thing that I like to do is come over to security. And with security, what you can do is just come over, come down to web browsers. And you want to look at all of the PCs or web browsers or devices that have used Dropbox. So right now I've got my MacBook Pro 2, my first one my iPhone X, this is my Mac, sorry, this is my Windows PC. Then I also have my other MacBook Pro, but I, I formatted it, so now it's this one. Then I also have my iPhone, my old iPhone, and then another laptop that was used a long time ago. And if you wanted to get rid of any of these devices that you don't recognize, uh, for example, you just come over here, just click on it, and you can unlink them. Come over here, unlink them, unlink. Come over here. And now you could, you know, one thing or option that you can do is actually select this. This will delete files from the personal Dropbox the next time this computer comes online. So it'll wipe out all the data that's stored in that Dropbox folder. Now the next thing, what I like to do here is I'll just come over to home. All right, so the next thing I like to do is come over here. We're going to come over to Dropbox again, come over to the top right. And what we're going to do is select this little folder icon. Now with the folder icon, I'm going to show you your spaces in your folders. Now these are the most popular folders that we use or we have been using. So what you can do is just come over here and you're going to be able to star this. Because what starring does is actually put this into your top of your folder list. So you don't have to come into Finder, look for your, your file or folder or to see where it is. This automatically puts it to the top. So you just come over to screenshots. Let's say this is the folder that you wanted. And then just click on star. So another option of doing this is actually if you wanted to star this, what you can do is just either click on the star or just drag it and drop it over to here. Now that is going to be starred. And for the next one, what I like to do, or if you've ever deleted something and you're trying to recall that file or try and get it out of the trash can or you've lost it completely, the great thing that I like about Dropbox is the rewind feature. So this plan is only available for certain plans, so just make sure it's available for the plan that you have. I think it's available for business or the upgraded plans. And what you want to do is you can just right click on that folder and you could click on rewind. And rewind, I think you have um, up to 30 days to rewind. I think you specify a date, it'll bring you back here. You know, as you get into the rewind feature, you could actually specify um, a date. So here it kind of gives you instructions to get started and how it works. I'm not going to get too much into the details about it, but that is the feature on how to recall your files. And the last new and the last tip and trick for Dropbox is what you want to do here is come over back again to 
Dropbox and click on the web or the world icon and what you want to do is just click over here if you have your image here or your profile come over here to settings and I like this a lot this is called smart sync update for Mac now what this will do it will only update all online only files that you specify just so it doesn't take up a lot of room for example if I know I'm gonna be using this Mac and I've got Final Cut Pro video files or important files that I want to access on other devices in the future or other laptops that I have for example I have a Windows 10 laptop and I want to use that Windows 10 but I want to make sure that the files are shared you can do this by smart sync update for Mac and before a couple of years ago they didn't have this feature so whatever was in your Dropbox folder that you wanted backed up all of that data would have to go to every single PC that was in your Dropbox folder and it would go to every single device that was uh, in your Dropbox profile so for example I have a Windows laptop that has I think 200 gig so the hard drive is pretty small and this MacBook Pro has a one terabyte and I'm probably using about 600 600 gigs so as soon as I open up my Windows 10 laptop it's gonna start syncing and then right away my Windows 10 laptop is already congested uh, the disk drive is already packed and then my, my PC starts running slow so that's the, the last feature I wanted to tell you guys about the smart sync update for Mac uh, very very useful all you do is enable it and then once you enable it, it it says it takes about five minutes then you could just go into Dropbox later go to your folders and just make sure you right click and share the files that you want as view only anyways that is all for today I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe like and comment below